Well, philanthropy isn't something that we all think about every day, but it can be an important part of your tax and accounting. In today's Perpetual Guardian Money Matters, consumer advocate Charlotte Lockhart is here to talk about it. Charlotte, first up, what is philanthropy? I thought it was something that the super rich did to try and get tax breaks. No, well, that's, giving to charity is something that all of us can do, so it doesn't have to be about being rich or anything like that. And it's a really smart way to um, get some tax deductibility as well. All giving is tax deductible if it's to a registered charity. Oh, OK. Mm. I so, didn't know this. No. So we've got uh, expert Liz Gibbs, who's the CEO of Philanthropy New Zealand. She was up here last week and she spoke to us. Let's take a look at that now. All of us have got the ability to be generous, whether it's with our time or our money. And in fact, in New Zealand, we're fourth globally in terms of generosity. And individual givers, whether we're wealthy or, or on an average income, can all contribute. Um, in fact, in New Zealand, individual donations last year amounted to $1.5 billion, which is a really significant contribution to charity. It's absolutely worth giving small amounts. All of us can contribute. Again, our time is really valuable. So whether it's an hour on a Saturday morning, helping out on a sausage sizzle, or whether it's giving um, a regular amount of money to a charity, all of that helps. Um, we tend to talk about 1% or up to 5% of household income, but it really depends on how much you can afford and how much time you can afford as well. You can search on the Charities Commission website for all registered charities in New Zealand and see the work that they're doing. Charities are now reporting not just financially, but also on the outcomes and outputs of their work. There are many ways to give, ranging from um, committed giving, so a regular gift that you make directly um, out of your bank account each, each month, or in fact payroll giving, where you instruct your employer to deduct a certain amount that you agree to your chosen charity. And the great news about payroll giving is that um, you get the tax deductible benefit directly out of your um, donation. Another way to give is online, and of course that's a brilliant way that's accessible 24-7. Um, websites like Give a Little have contributed over $50 million to New Zealanders through the various crowdfunding um, appeals that they've run. That's a really easy way to give very, very quickly and easily. For those people that can't afford so much now, you can absolutely plan for giving later in life through making a bequest. And experts like Perpetual Guardian are really well placed to give you that advice. That's really good, isn't it? Really interesting too. There was a lot in there. I didn't realise that it was something that the average earner could actually look at doing. Yes. I mean, but if it's going to save us tax, then, then it's a good thing. We're interested, right? Absolutely. You should always ask your employer about payroll giving. Now, one thing quickly too is that I know a lot of people are looking at leaving money to charity when they die. I think between 2011 and 2014, it was up 29%, wasn't it, individual mm. bequests? Mm. So how do you go about doing that? If you want to pass on your money, what do you do? Well, it just needs to be written into your will. Um, now, but you want to be very careful with your bequest you want to make sure you've got the name of the charity right so that you it's uh, going to go to there and you want to be quite um, you don't want to be too specific you don't want to leave it to pink polka dot cats okay um, you be better if you like animals to say you would want to leave it for the benefit of cats or the benefit of animals and then that way no matter what happens in society is changing before you when after you've made your will and before you die mm. um, then, you know, if we eradicated cats out of New Zealand, then you're a little bit stuffed. So it would be better to have, um, and that's Gareth Morgan having a flag. <laughs> I was about to say, we can't go down that road, can we? <laughs> but um, but that would, then if you left the money to, for the for pets yep. or animals, then uh, obviously your will will okay. still be able to be executed. Well, once again, you've given us lots to think about, as you do every single week. Thank you so much, Charlotte. And a great advice, as always, in Perpetual Guardian Money Matters. Now, we look forward to seeing you again next week.